Yep. Amplifier that I'm testing over here is a prototype. I wasn't really supposed to release any information on it because it's not even going to look the same when it's all said and done. Um, it's just over here so we can torture, test the internals, and make sure it's all working good and see what kind of numbers it puts out. Um, he's talking about uh, 1400 watts to 2000 watts, depending on what impedance you're at. Let's take a sneak peek at what kind of power it's actually doing. So what's the difference between the SMD81 amp dyno and the AMM1 audio multimeter, you say? I mean, why would you buy that very expensive unit when you can buy this one for about a third of the price? Strike that, it's closer to about a seventh of the price. Well, let me explain a little bit to you. The main difference is, is the 81 does everything, including have a selectable impedance, a huge load bank, and many different modes that you can run your amplifier through and see how much power it's capable of putting out. All the way from certified dyno, which is up to 1% distortion, uncertified, which is up to clipping, dynamic power is RMS up to clipping, plus it's got DD1 plus meters built in, as well as gain matching. So this thing just does it all. The audio multimeter also does it all, but it does different stuff. It's reading what you're actually playing. So your load bank would be your speaker, your speaker box. Well, actually not your speaker box, that's dumb, but the, the woofer in the box, I should say. So, so this is gonna give you more of a realistic number of what your system is actually doing in real time. It stops the test at clipping, not 1% distortion, but you'll get a lot better idea of what's going on. So this thing down here will put the load on the amplifier and do all the work and tell you what the amplifier is capable of. This one is telling you what your amplifier is actually doing while hooked up to your own speaker in your car. So we'll go through the different modes because this thing isn't just a, a handheld amp dyno. It also does everything else that an audio guy might need. So keep an eye out for that C2 audio. Keep an eye out for that SMD audio multimeter AMM1, which is available now, as well as the SMD81 amp dyno. Numbers aren't official. They're not claimed RMS, nothing. Nothing's on the box yet. There is no box. I've been torture testing the crap out of it. Ain't got it to burn up. Ain't even got it hot yet. It has gone into protect a few times at like a half an ohm, but that's okay, it's supposed to. An amp that goes into protect is an amp that gets to live as long as it comes out of protect. So, catch you on the next one.